Hello, and welcome to the State of Michigan Department of Community Health Report View Manager. This particular TechCast is an overview of how the RVM system works. The purpose of RVM is to manage the reporting objects, the views, macros, and stored procedures for the three reporting areas. The one reporting area is the HIPAA area, which is the old data warehouse. The second reporting area is the CHAMPS, which is the new data warehouse. The third area is the Justice data warehouse. And there are other areas planned in the future for other departments within the state of Michigan. The administrator, whoever registered you on the system determines which one of the areas that you get access to. Now everyone has the ability to build, test, and save macros by using the Teradata utility called SQL Assistant. Everyone also has the capability of downloading an existing RVM object so that they can revise or reference it. Everybody also has the ability to upload a saved object or a updated object back into the RVM system. The DIT DCH users can request that an object be generated, which means they can upload an object, save it out onto the system, and then request that that object actually be generated into the Teradata warehouse. It is the NGENIX users who have the capability of generating those objects into the Teradata data warehouse. The system provides for a closed loop mailing capability. So as the DIT user requests that an object be generated, an email message is sent to the NGENIX users that an object needs to be generated. After the NGENIX user generates the object, the user gets a message back stating that the object has been generated. RVM also provides for full version control and full auditing, which means that every single one of the updates to a particular object becomes a new version and you can always download one of the previous versions if necessary. There's also full auditing to track who is using the system and what is being done. So if we look at the system and log on, you'll see a log on here and my log on is here and the little checkbox here that says remember me next time it's strongly suggested that if you are working at your workstation that you check that box because what will happen is when RVM times out after 15 minutes of inactivity and you try to do something, RVM will automatically log you back in. However, you shouldn't check that box if you're using it at a public workstation someplace where somebody else might walk up to the workstation and begin using it. When you log into the system, what it will do is provide you with a list of the reporting objects in the last area that you worked in. In this particular case, I had worked in the CHAMPS area, and the listing of the objects you see here right now are a listing of those reporting objects inside of the CHAMPS area. As you can see, each object has a name. Each object also has a type, and in this case, this is a macro, which is an M, and a V is a view, and an S is for a stored procedure. In most of the objects that are out there, there's a short description of what that object is, when the object was last updated, who updated it, whether the object is hidden. If we go to take a look at one of these objects, and I'm going to switch to a different database area, like the HIPAA data warehouse, it provides a list of the objects in that area. And the object that we're going to use for reference right now is this birthday parm macro. We're going to click on the Edit button. And the Edit button brings back information and repeats in the header up here that it's the birthday parameter and that it's a macro, the short description. And what you're viewing here is the SQL. Now, the SQL actually can't be edited here. The SQL has to be downloaded and changed with SQL Assistant and then re-uploaded for you to be able to change it. What this allows you to do is just take a look at it and if you wanted to you could copy this entire macro out and paste it someplace. There's also a description that talks about what type of object this is and if you can also have a short description and a full description of what that object is. The bottom line here is supposed to indicate where or which report you are using this object in. The next tab is versions, which indicates in this case there are six versions of this object and indicates when the object was created and who the individual was that actually did the object. When you see the word conversion here, this is an indication that it was an older object that was converted from the previous version of RVM and brought into the new version. There's also an audit trail 
that indicates when the object has been manipulated by someone. And in this particular case, because this object is used for demonstration purposes, it's been modified quite a few times. And you'll see a number of people here who've modified it, but the very last person who modified it is myself. On March 18th at about 11.19, I downloaded the object, which means I have a copy of the object. At the top of the screen here, you'll see a couple of buttons. One is called Download a File, Upload a File, Generate, and Return. Download allows you to download the most current version of the object. In this case, this would be the March 18th, 11-19th version of the object. Upload allows you to take a copy of the SQL statement and upload it back up to the RVM in preparation for it to be generated. The Generate button allows you to generate the object. If you are a DIT DCH user, you will be able to request it to be generated, and one of the NGENX people will actually do that generation for you. So this is a quick overview of how the system works. There will be other tech casts getting in the detail about how to actually download, upload, and do generates. Thank you very much.